Have you ever wondered what the most powerful mindset for success looks like? In this video, we'll explore how Stoic philosophy can guide you in developing a mindset that not only overcomes challenges, but also leads to a fulfilling and purposeful life. Before we dive in, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone who might benefit from these insights. And here's a challenge for you. As you watch, think about one area of your life where you can apply Stoic principles to enhance your mindset. Comment below with your thoughts and plans. Let's embark on this journey to cultivate a powerful mindset for success together. 1. Mastering the Art of Inner Calm Marcus Aurelius said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Inner calm is a foundational principle in Stoic philosophy. It involves maintaining tranquility and peace of mind, regardless of external circumstances. Mastering this art is crucial for success because it allows us to respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively to the challenges and adversities we face. Marcus Aurelius's quote emphasizes that true strength comes from within, not from controlling external events. By focusing on our inner state and managing our reactions, we can maintain calm even in the midst of chaos. This inner calm provides clarity and resilience, enabling us to navigate life's difficulties with grace and composure. An example of mastering inner calm can be seen in the life of Nelson Mandela. During his 27 years of imprisonment, Mandela faced numerous hardships and injustices. However, he maintained his inner peace and composure, using his time in prison for self-reflection and personal growth. Mandela's ability to remain calm and focused despite his circumstances not only helped him survive, but also prepared him to lead South Africa towards reconciliation and democracy upon his release. To cultivate inner calm, it is essential to practice mindfulness and meditation. These practices help us become more aware of our thoughts and emotions, allowing us to manage them more effectively. By regularly setting aside time for quiet reflection, we can develop the mental clarity and resilience needed to maintain inner peace. Reflect on a recent stressful situation. How could you have applied the principle of inner calm to handle it better? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Two. Embracing the Dichotomy of Control Epictetus said, Some things are up to us and some things are not. The dichotomy of control is a central tenet of Stoic philosophy. It teaches that we should focus on what is within our control and accept what is not. This mindset is powerful because it helps us direct our energy towards actions we can influence, reducing unnecessary stress and frustration. Epictetus's quote succinctly captures this concept. By recognizing the difference between what we can and cannot control, we free ourselves from the burden of trying to change the unchangeable. This acceptance fosters a sense of peace and empowers us to take effective action where it matters most. A modern example of embracing the dichotomy of control is seen in the life of Viktor Frankl, a Holocaust survivor and psychiatrist. In his book, Man's Search for Meaning, Frankl describes how he maintained a sense of purpose and dignity in the concentration camps by focusing on his inner life and attitude. Despite the horrific conditions, Frankl found meaning and strength by concentrating on his thoughts and reactions, things he could control. To embrace the dichotomy of control, start by identifying areas in your life where you feel stressed or frustrated. Ask yourself whether these areas are within your control. If they are not, practice acceptance and redirect your energy towards actions you can influence. This practice not only reduces stress, but also enhances your effectiveness in managing life's challenges. Think about a situation where you felt powerless. How might embracing the dichotomy of control have changed your response? Share your insights in the comments below. 3. Harnessing the Power of Perspective Marcus Aurelius said, 
The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Perspective is a powerful tool in Stoic philosophy. It involves framing our experiences in a way that highlights their potential benefits and opportunities for growth. By harnessing the power of perspective, we can transform challenges into valuable learning experiences and maintain a positive outlook on life. Marcus Aurelius' quote underscores the importance of our thoughts in shaping our experiences. By cultivating a positive and constructive mindset, we can influence how we perceive and respond to life's challenges. This shift in perspective allows us to find meaning and purpose even in difficult situations. An example of the power of perspective is the story of Thomas Edison, the famous inventor. When his laboratory burned down, destroying much of his work, Edison famously remarked, Thank goodness all our mistakes were burned up. Now we can start fresh again. Instead of succumbing to despair, Edison used the incident as an opportunity to begin anew with a positive outlook, ultimately leading to more innovative discoveries. To harness the power of perspective, practice reframing negative situations. Ask yourself what you can learn from the experience and how it might contribute to your growth. This practice helps you maintain a positive mindset and turn challenges into opportunities for development. Recall a challenging experience you recently faced. How could changing your perspective have helped you see it in a more positive light? Share your story in the comments below. 4. Building Resilience Through Adversity Marcus Aurelius said, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from setbacks and continue moving forward despite difficulties. In Stoic philosophy, adversity is seen not as a hindrance, but as an opportunity for growth. By building resilience, we can transform obstacles into stepping stones towards success. Marcus Aurelius's quote highlights the Stoic belief that obstacles can propel us forward. By viewing challenges as opportunities to strengthen our resilience, we can develop the mental toughness needed to overcome any adversity. This mindset transforms difficulties into catalysts for personal and professional growth. A powerful example of resilience through adversity is J.K. Rowling, the author of the Harry Potter series. Before achieving literary success, Rowling faced numerous rejections from publishers, struggled with financial difficulties, and experienced personal setbacks. Instead of giving up, she used these challenges as motivation to persevere, ultimately creating one of the most successful book series in history. Rowling's resilience in the face of adversity was a key factor in her eventual success. To build resilience, it is helpful to practice self-compassion and maintain a growth mindset. Recognize that setbacks are a natural part of the journey toward success and use them as opportunities to learn and grow. By embracing adversity and persevering through challenges, you can develop the resilience needed to achieve your goals. Reflect on a recent setback you experienced. How can you use it as an opportunity to build resilience? Share your thoughts and strategies in the comments below. 5. Practicing Gratitude and Contentment Socrates said, He who is not contented with what he has would not be contented with what he would like to have. Gratitude and contentment are essential components of a powerful mindset for success. Stoic philosophy teaches that true happiness comes from appreciating what we have and finding contentment in the present moment. By practicing gratitude, we can cultivate a sense of fulfillment and well-being. Socrates' quote reminds us that contentment is not dependent on external circumstances, but on our attitude towards them. By focusing on what we have rather than what we lack, we can develop a mindset of abundance and gratitude. This shift in perspective helps us find joy and satisfaction in the present moment regardless of our circumstances. An example of practicing gratitude and contentment can be found in the life of Oprah Winfrey. Despite facing significant challenges and adversities in her early life, Winfrey developed a practice of gratitude and mindfulness. She often speaks about the importance of appreciating the small blessings in life 
and maintaining a positive outlook. This practice has not only contributed to her personal well-being, but also to her professional success and philanthropic efforts. To practice gratitude, start by keeping a gratitude journal. Each day, write down three things you are thankful for. This simple practice helps shift your focus from what you lack to what you have, fostering a sense of contentment and well-being. By cultivating gratitude, you can enhance your overall happiness and create a positive mindset for success. What are three things you are grateful for today? Share your gratitude list in the comments below and inspire others to practice gratitude and contentment. 6. Living with Purpose and Intent Epictetus said, First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. Living with purpose and intent is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. It involves aligning your daily actions with your core values and long-term goals. This mindset ensures that you are not merely drifting through life, but actively working towards a meaningful and fulfilling existence. Epictetus's quote underscores the importance of having a clear vision of who you want to be and taking deliberate actions to achieve that vision. By setting intentional goals and aligning your actions with your values, you create a sense of purpose and direction in your life. An inspiring example of living with purpose and intent is the life of Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhi's commitment to nonviolence and justice guided his actions and decisions throughout his life. Despite numerous challenges and setbacks, he remained steadfast in his purpose, leading India to independence through peaceful means. Gandhi's life exemplifies the power of living with purpose and intent, demonstrating how a clear vision and deliberate actions can bring about significant positive change. To live with purpose and intent, start by identifying your core values and long-term goals. Reflect on what matters most to you and what you want to achieve in your life. Once you have a clear vision, set specific, actionable steps to work towards your goals. Regularly reassess your progress and make adjustments as needed to stay aligned with your purpose. What is one core value or long-term goal that guides your actions? Share your reflections in the comments below and inspire others to live with purpose and intent. 7. Developing Emotional Equanimity Seneca said, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. Emotional equanimity is the ability to maintain balance and composure in the face of emotional turmoil. Stoic philosophy teaches that our emotional responses are often more intense than the situations that trigger them. By developing emotional equanimity, we can navigate life's challenges with greater resilience and stability. Seneca's quote highlights the impact of our imagination on our emotional experiences. Often, our fears and anxieties are magnified by our thoughts, causing unnecessary suffering. By recognizing this, we can take steps to manage our emotions more effectively and maintain a sense of balance. An example of developing emotional equanimity is seen in the life of Eleanor Roosevelt. Despite facing numerous personal and political challenges, Roosevelt maintained her composure and continued to advocate for human rights and social justice. Her ability to stay calm and focused in the face of adversity allowed her to make significant contributions to society and leave a lasting legacy. To develop emotional equanimity, practice mindfulness and self-awareness. Pay attention to your emotional responses and identify any patterns of exaggerated thinking. Use techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, and cognitive reframing to manage your emotions and maintain balance. By cultivating emotional equanimity, you can respond to life's challenges with greater clarity and resilience. Think of a recent situation where your emotions felt overwhelming. How could you have applied the principle of emotional equanimity to handle it better? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. 8. Embracing Impermanence and Change Marcus Aurelius said, Observe constantly that all things take place by change, and accustom yourself to consider that the nature of the universe loves nothing so much as to change the things which are, 
and to make new things like them. Stoic philosophy teaches that impermanence and change are fundamental aspects of life. By embracing these realities, we can cultivate a mindset that is adaptable and resilient. Accepting that change is inevitable allows us to navigate life's transitions with grace and flexibility. Marcus Aurelius's quote emphasizes the constancy of change in the universe. By observing and accepting this natural process, we can develop a mindset that is open to new possibilities and resilient in the face of uncertainty. Embracing impermanence helps us let go of attachment to the past and focus on the present moment. A powerful example of embracing impermanence and change is the life of Malala Yousafzai. After surviving an assassination attempt by the Taliban, Malala's life changed dramatically. Instead of being defined by this traumatic event, she embraced the change and used it as a platform to advocate for girls' education worldwide. Malala's ability to adapt to her new circumstances and continue her mission demonstrates the strength that comes from embracing impermanence. To embrace impermanence and change, practice acceptance and adaptability. Reflect on the transient nature of life and find ways to adapt to new situations. Use mindfulness practices to stay present and grounded, even in the face of uncertainty. By embracing change, you can navigate life's transitions with resilience and grace. Reflect on a recent change or transition in your life. How can you embrace it and use it as an opportunity for growth? Share your reflections in the comments below. 9. Cultivating Self-Discipline and Focus Epictetus said, No man is free who is not master of himself. Self-discipline and focus are essential for achieving sustained success. Stoic philosophy teaches that true freedom comes from mastering oneself. By cultivating self-discipline and focus, we can consistently work towards our goals and overcome distractions and temptations. Epictetus's quote highlights the importance of self-mastery. By exercising self-discipline, we gain control over our actions and decisions, enabling us to pursue our goals with determination and perseverance. This mindset fosters a sense of freedom and empowerment, allowing us to live in alignment with our values. An example of cultivating self-discipline and focus is the life of Arnold Schwarzenegger. From his early days as a bodybuilder to his successful careers in acting and politics, Schwarzenegger has consistently demonstrated remarkable self-discipline and focus. His rigorous training regimen, commitment to personal development, and ability to stay focused on his goals have been key factors in his success across multiple fields. To cultivate self-discipline and focus, start by setting clear, specific goals. Create a structured routine that supports your objectives and minimizes distractions. Practice techniques such as time management, prioritization, and self-reflection to maintain your focus and stay on track. By developing self-discipline, you can achieve sustained success and personal growth. What is one goal you are currently working towards? How can you cultivate self-discipline and focus to achieve it? Share your reflections in the comments below and inspire others to stay disciplined and focused. 10. Pursuing Virtue Above All Else Marcus Aurelius said, Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. Pursuing virtue is the ultimate aim of Stoic philosophy. It involves striving for excellence in character and moral integrity. By prioritizing virtue above all else, we can live a life of purpose and fulfillment, making meaningful contributions to the world around us. Marcus Aurelius' quote emphasizes the importance of embodying virtue rather than merely discussing it. By actively practicing virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance, we can cultivate a strong moral character and lead by example. This commitment to virtue fosters a sense of purpose and guides our actions towards positive impact. An inspiring example of pursuing virtue is the life of Nelson Mandela. Despite facing significant injustices and hardships, Mandela remained committed to the principles of justice, equality, and forgiveness. His unwavering dedication to virtue not only helped him achieve personal growth, 
but also led to profound societal change, transforming South Africa and inspiring the world. To pursue virtue, reflect on the qualities and values that you aspire to embody. Set specific intentions to practice these virtues in your daily life. Engage in self-reflection and seek feedback from others to continually improve your character. By prioritizing virtue, you can live a life of purpose and make a positive difference in the world. What is one virtue you aspire to cultivate in your life? How can you practice it daily? Share your reflections in the comments below and inspire others to pursue virtue and excellence. Developing the most powerful mindset for success involves embracing the timeless wisdom of Stoic philosophy. By mastering inner calm, embracing the dichotomy of control, harnessing the power of perspective, building resilience through adversity, and practicing gratitude and contentment, you can navigate life's challenges with grace and achieve true greatness. Remember, it's not the external events that define our success, but how we respond to them. The teachings of Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, and Seneca offer invaluable guidance on cultivating a mindset that prioritizes inner peace, intentionality, and virtue. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with others who might benefit from these insights. And don't forget to comment below with your reflections on how you plan to apply Stoic principles to enhance your mindset. Together, let's continue to support each other on this journey towards personal growth and success. Thank you for watching. For